a healthy and outgoing child, until one Saturday in April when Arlo Briggs' parents noticed a slight droop in her face. And I initially said to Clayton, do you think she's having a stroke? Trusting her instincts, and Brigg called an ambulance. She says emergency doctors at Rockhampton Hospital initially ruled out stroke, but then Arlo's speech became slurred and unrecognisable. And they said, no, it can't be a stroke, but we're going to do the um, CT scan just to be sure. Doctors said the Saturday afternoon scan found no unusual brain activity. On Sunday morning I noticed, like, I went to dress her and all the right side was paralysed. A spokesman for the Rockhampton Hospital says strokes in children are extremely rare and diagnosing them can be very challenging. About 600 Australian children have a stroke every year. Facial droop, one-sided paralysis, seizures, headaches, nausea and slurred speech are some of the most common symptoms. Always call triple zero. Don't go to GP, don't go to bed and sleep it off. Call, a, call an ambulance. Arlo spent 38 days doing intensive therapy at the Queensland Children's Hospital, regaining her strength and learning how to walk and talk again. Four months on, her rehabilitation has astounded everyone. When I first met her, she couldn't stand on that leg in balance and now she's able to stand on that leg balance and do an activity with the other foot. The now five-year-old has just returned to kindy. The Briggs are warning other parents to know the signs of stroke. This does happen. And go off your gut feeling, you do know your child. Erin Semler, ABC News, Rockhampton.